Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new Gentech PC product showcase. Today we're going to be showing you the new MSI MS16F3, better known as the unbranded version of the GT60. Now while both of these laptops are the same at the very core, we decided to go ahead and show you the branded version on the right and the unbranded version on the left so that we can point out a few differences that you can expect. One of the first things that we took notice of is that the palm rest area on the 16F3 is made out of a raised plastic texture while the one on the branded version is made out of a nice black aluminum. On the touchpad there is a slight difference in design but nothing too major here. You'll notice that it looks different but it performs about the same. Onto the keyboard, no longer do you have the multicolor color changing LED backlit keyboard but you still do have the same type of keyboard and it still is backlit but now only in blue. The MSI GT60 of course has the Steel Series branded keyboard and it has multiple colors so you can configure that in the software to do a lot of different things. And now moving to the speaker grill, there's a very different design here as far as how it looks but underneath the grill you have the same speakers in both laptops. So that really high end sound system that you're used to on the GT series is also still on the unbranded version. Above your LCD screen you're going to see the high definition webcam and integrated microphone. This is the same on both the branded and unbranded versions. Also take important notice of the screen. This is a non-glossy aka matte screen. Both of them are very bright, very clear displays. One of the better that we see on any laptop out right now. Moving to the back of the laptop lid, you'll notice the same pattern as before. The unbranded version is sporting no logo in the center. You can see where it would be if it was there. And it's a glossy black plastic. And again here is that raised plastic texturing we saw before. On the branded version however you have the nice black aluminum finish. It's a brushed aluminum and you have the MSI glossy logo in the center. Okay now let's take a look at the input and output interfaces. These will be the same for both laptops as we're using the same motherboard and components. Our four audio jacks here, headphones, microphone line in, line out, one USB 2.0 port, our optical drive, which does have a dedicated eject button on the optical drive itself. And again, you can see the GT60 has the gold plated audio ports. Onto the back side, we have our Kenningston lock port on the far left, a false exhaust panel, our input for power, VGA, HDMI, eSATA, and the single exhaust. To the left side, our secondary exhaust, two USB 3.0 ports, a multi card reader, and then a third USB 3.0 port. For those who need illuminated keyboards at night, here you go a shot of the blue illumination in the dark environment. It does not change colors or anything like the GT60 does, so you don't have any fancy settings, but at least you can see what you're typing in the dark. And now we move into one of the most important parts about comparing the branded and unbranded versions of this laptop, our performance scores and benchmarks. We did this with a Core i7-3920XM CPU at 2.9 GHz. This is a stronger CPU that comes stock in the GT60. Vantage 21,651 score and 3D Mark 11 6,091. These are very high scores and they meet or beat the GT60 in every way. Again, running the same GPU, but a higher CPU. With the upgraded CPU is going to be more heat. And then as you can see here from the temperature monitors that we have no heat problems while running the upgraded CPU. Here is the GPU-Z information on the GTX 680 mobile. This shows you all the default information on that GPU, but it also shows you that we ran all these benchmarks at the default frequencies and not overclocked. And now here is a quick look at the laptop with the lid closed all the way around so you can get an idea of the size and dimensions of the laptop. Now 
now that we already covered everything on the top side of the system, it's time to move to the bottom. As you can see, there's lots of vents here to allow air into the system and help keep it cool. This one vent here that looks very unique is actually hiding the bottom mounted subwoofer. That's what gives you the very full sound to the speaker system, giving you the lower end frequencies. Getting user access to the inside of the system is quite easy by removing a single bay door. This is a dual hard drive system, so this is where your secondary hard drive goes. And of course that can be a mechanical hard drive or a solid state disk. Your smaller heatsink here is going to be responsible for cooling the CPU. It's connected to one of the heatsinks in the major exhaust fan. Two RAM slots sit right next to it. And above that, the major heatsink is for your GPU. Again, to its own heatsink and still using the same cooling fan. And next to that, of course, is your primary hard drive. And this will complete our overview of the 16F3. Again, this is the non-branded version of the MSI GT60. You can expect both laptops to be identical inside as far as hardware and components. And we just showed you all the smaller overlaying visual differences you can expect on the outside of the system. We hope that this video gave you the knowledge that you needed to make an informed decision on whether the 16F3 or the GT60 is a better purchase for you. Keep in mind that this is not branded by MSI, therefore it does not carry MSI's standard warranty. Other than that though, the video showed you all the differences you can expect. If you'd like to learn more about this laptop, such as the full system specs or current pricing and availability, then you can go to our site gentechpc.com where we have all that information available to you. And if you have any further questions that you need personal help with, then feel free to contact us by phone or email. We'll be sure to get back with you and be more than happy to help you out.